Yeah, it is ever fluid, as we know, as we are now in our third day of covering this. Susan Booker says that they have successfully counted the early voting ballots for the U.S. Senate race recount. They conducted that overnight after the machines failed last night. I'll step out of the way here at the Tabulation Center. She says those machines are working now thanks to some new parts, and the mechanics that she flew in are still here just in case. But right now, there's only one machine running. There's not much activity here at the Tabulation Center overall. And Booker says that's to be expected today while they look over the ballots and add them to the totals for early voting. From there, they still need to total the ballots from the precincts on Election Day. She says she's in, quote, prayer mode to finish by tomorrow's deadline while an extension request lingers in federal court. Again, Booker is pointing to old machines as well as outdated laws when it comes to recount deadlines. We didn't anticipate that we would have to run 100 percent of our ballots through these old machines. We anticipated we would have a pretty quiet midterm election as we used to. I guess that's not the new norm. Now, she says the canvassing board just finished reviewing the ballots from Election Day, so now she is solely focused on the recounts. I asked Booker for her response to those calling for her resignation. We'll have that all for you new at 6 o'clock, but I will tell you, Tiffany and Felicia, that it is the most fired up we've seen Booker since, this, since we've been covering this whole ordeal. Again, that's new at 6. For now in Riviera Beach, Anthony Costura, WPBF 25 News. And